Hey there, scientists, and welcome to another PS Science at Home video. I'm Miss Oyanoki, and today I want to share with you some sand. Sand? What's so good about sand? Well, I'm going to dump some out, and let's take a closer look. Okay, now let's try taking a look under the microscope lens. Okay, let's put this sample under the microscope and see what we find. Looks like some rocks, but there are some more organic looking shapes as well. Let's see what we come across. Right there, just below the viewfinder, are some shells. I wonder what shells can tell us about the London clay. London clay actually comes from a part of England on the coast called Essex. So seashells would make sense. With just our eyes, the sample looked just like sand. But now that we're looking up close, we can actually see there's tiny fossils. These are microfossils. Paleontologists at the La Brea Tar Pits have been able to use the microfossils to tell them about the plants and animals that might have lived around the Los Angeles area 10,000 years ago. You can find out more information about this in this really cool comic book from the La Brea Tar Pits called it came from the tar pits. This is available in our lesson guide. Some of the microfossils found include nuts, pollen, and rodent teeth. A recent discovery of the La Brea tar pits is a fossilized nest of a leafcutter bee. The entomologist studying the fossil at the tar pits was able to scan the fossil and study the shape of the fossilized pupa inside it and learned that it was a species of bee that is still living today. The fossil is estimated to be 25 to 40,000 years old. Knowing the type of habitats the bee lives in today helps to complete the understanding of what the habitat was like around the La Brea tar pits 25,000 years ago. This mural depicts what scientists believe the Los Angeles area would have looked like 25,000 years ago. The information that scientists learn from studying microfossils and other remains found at the tar pits gives some information about what a food web 10,000 years ago what might have looked like. But what's a food web? Basically, a food web is what eats what. Food webs start with the sun. Plants get the energy they need to make their own food via photosynthesis from the sun. Insects Small mammals and birds eat the plants. Or even the insects. And then predatory mammals eat the plant and insect eating mammals. That's a food web. See you next time. Okay, scientists. Thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.